Did you have a nice walk? It's chilly out today, huh? Good girl. Come on. We need some coffee. Let's go. Let's go get some coffee. friends I'm back all right for today's challenge and yes it is 2 30 and I have not thrifted and I have not filmed anything but today will be a late upload but I have a fun challenge for today it is going to be a viewer's choice holiday edition so I want you to choose from the three song options that I give you to give me a thrift challenge the songs are going to be baby it's cold outside I'll buy clothes for cold weather uh, the second one is going to be rocking around the Christmas tree, and that's going to be for party wear, think like Christmas Eve, dress up, New Year's Eve, that sort of thing. And then the third one is there's no place like home for the holidays. And that is going to be like cozy wear, fleece, slippers, mugs, hot chocolate, that kind of vibe. Okay, so I am getting ready to leave. I had to stay at home today because we had a service guy come to the house, which is why I haven't thrifted all day. And I'm heading out. So the guy just left. So I'll be heading out in a couple minutes. Um, by the time I get to the thrift store, I'll see how the vote is going and think in terms of what you would like to purchase during the holiday season, the type of things that you like to get. So I'm very excited. It may be a car haul, depending on how much time I have. And I will be sure it gets uploaded tonight. So thanks so much for participating and yeah, I'll see you later on tonight. Thanks for voting. It's in the previous screen. Thanks. So I just got to my destination and the poll has not been up for very long. I got here and I went to go into my Instagram and there's no Wi-Fi. So I had to message Tina, my savior, and ask her what the poll was looking like. And she said, she sent me a screenshot and it looks like 52% for baby it's cold outside. I think it was 26 or 27% for home for the holidays and then rocking around the Christmas tree was in last place. So I'm going with 52% for baby it's cold outside and I am going to go in and see what we can do here. Thank you all for voting. I'm sure the votes will continue to come in but it looks like that's going to win anyway. So as soon as I get a signal, I will double check to make sure let's go thrifting. This is a good pickup. Brand new tag spider. What's the price on these? Oh yeah. $11.99 and I do have a coupon. Oh, that's a good one. Happy about that. Oh, I love this too. I love these Ralph Lauren puffers. Oh, that's so cute. That's what I love about these challenges. I come to parts of the store that I normally don't go to. Toy section, showing up. I feel like you're gonna need a little blanket to bring along with you in the car. And look at this. This was made especially for you by Jeanette. I want like a thermos for like a travel mug, but they don't have anything good. They always have so much too. I don't wanna to buy too many pairs of pants, so I'm just going for these rib cage boot cut by Levi's. They have some really great comps. They're in a size 29. So I'm gonna grab these and maybe. 
I have secured the clothing for baby it's cold outside and it is a little cold outside. But now I have to run in and get dinner. I think I'm, I'm feeling sushi tonight. We've got a haul to film, Lulu, and we only have a couple hours. All this stuff, I have to do some sorting first. So I'm back from Savers and Baby It's Cold Outside was a clear winner for the challenge. Rocking around the Christmas tree, which I thought I would get like party clothes for that, for the holidays. And then the last one was There's No Place Like Home for the holidays. And I was gonna go more in the direction of like cozy, fleece like loungewear slippers for the house but baby it's cold outside one editing lori here baby it's cold outside actually didn't win when i went back to instagram hours later rock around the christmas tree one but for the sake of this video we're going with baby it's cold outside so I went in the direction of things that will keep you warm on a cold winter's day. If you're enjoying my Happy Holidays series, be sure to like and subscribe if you wanna stay connected with me even after the series is over, which is tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day. I am just gonna share with you right up front that there were no boots. I did not find any good socks or gloves. This was definitely the most fly by the seat of my pants video that I threw together this week. I knew I wanted to do a viewer's choice challenge. However, my intention was to go to the bins today. I was all lined up to go to the bins with my girlfriend, Kim. Our pump went on our septic. We needed a new pump. I was in New York for two days. I know I've been talking about Jay going to Japan, but he's actually been in Japan all week. I just don't like to share when he's not home. So he's home now. He just touched down in Boston. He should be home by the time this video is done. I'm so happy he's back from Tokyo. So I've been trying to navigate everything with happy holidays and no Jay and traveling to New York. It's been crazy. And so this morning I was supposed to go to the bins at 7.30, be back by 12 or 1, film my haul, and then like casually edit from like 4 to Eight, but no, no, no. The septic guy didn't show up till 1.30. I forgot he was even coming. I woke up to a text message from Jay. He was already on the flight home and he's like, hey love, just wanted to remind you that they're coming to replace the pump today. Then he was supposed to be here early in the morning. He came late, the rest is history, blah, blah, blah. Whew. So I did the best that I could and I'm really excited about the things that I found, but you guys know me. I usually like to pull together an entire ensemble, like soup to nuts, head to toe, and it just didn't work out. So I really focused on outerwear. Let's just jump into it. I ended up going through the line twice. I had a 20% off coupon, but it's only good up to $100. So once I hit $80 with the coupon at self-checkout at my savers, I stopped that transaction and then jumped into the next trans transaction. In the second transaction, I bought some stuff for my kids thrifted gift bags, which is tomorrow's video. Sorry I didn't have a bins haul. We'll have one next week or the week after, but I ended up spending about $165, but that's kind of irrelevant because some of it's going to my kids. I will start with one of the jackets that I'm giving to Rocco um, because my thought was that I wanted to get outerwear for the family. So something everybody in the family could wear loosely. And I think I did pretty well. As you guys know, Rocco goes to school in Maine. He's like an LL Bean guy now through and through. And I spent $189 on a winter coat for him. Jay said, don't hope that you're gonna thrift one. Just buy him one on Black Friday when we have the discount. And if you find something else, you can return it or he can keep both. He'll probably lose one at a party. I found this one and I think Rocco is going to love this. It's a little bit of a throwback. It's like a micro suede. It is in such gorgeous condition. There is a corduroy version of this on L.L. Bean for $119. It's called like the Heritage Jacket. And then there are people who have this on Etsy for like $110. And then there are a fair amount of people who have it listed on eBay for like 50. So this was $22. I know that my son is going to absolutely love this. And just remember everything was 20% off. What's amazing is after doing Christmas shopping and spending $189 on one coat, when you go to places, even if they're marked 
20 30 dollars it's still such an incredible bargain and i do think you get a lot of money back for outerwear so this you'll see again tomorrow in rocco's pile also i just want to say about these challenges i really love them because they really push me as a thrifter it gets me to different parts of the store it helps me really zone in and focus so i was very thorough in the outerwear and as a result i got some really great things you saw me in the little boy section and i found two great pieces there actually i found three but at checkout the north face the reversible north face that i found had a big hole in the back so i decided to leave that behind my savers does take exchanges so i'm going to leave all the tags on here because it was such a mad dash through savers i just want to make sure i don't miss anything so sometimes i like to leave the tags on until i have items under the light so i can really see i love this ralph lauren jacket and i have bought and sold several of these like little puffer ralph lauren jackets for boys this one is really nice it has fleece around the collar it is a size 810 and it feels like it's probably down i'm not going to be able to see with the light but look at it. it's got like the little built-in cuffs here it's such a great coat and nine dollars and then 20 percent off i also think a lot about comfort when it comes to kids because i know my kids i buy them the most fashionable thing and if it wasn't comfortable they weren't going to wear it so this was really cozy now i'm going to get the ski pants which i think were such a great pickup so this was from the brand spider which a lot of places really mark up these were $11.99. They're like the bib style ski pants. But the most incredible thing about this is that these were new with tag. The price tag is $129. This was a steal. So these were probably $9 and change in this great color. These are just fantastic. Um, the size on these, if anybody is curious, these say size eight. Is that the same size as the jacket? Thought these were great, $128. If I can sell these for $60, half off the price of the tag, I would be really happy about that. One of the other things that I kept in mind as I was shopping is I was only buying things that I would actually wanna come home and list. You go through thrift stores and there are a ton of gloves and hats and coats and stuff. So I obviously was only picking up things that I would actually come home and sell myself. I have two sweaters here that I did take a big, bit of a chance on. We'll get to those in a second. I was definitely in the L.L. Bean zone. I grabbed this classic L.L. Bean sweater. It's actually cotton. It is not wool and it looks like it's a vintage tag. It's a size small. I just thought this was so festive and I feel like this sweater is just timeless. I can see it on a grandma. I can see it on a college student on a ski trip. I can see it like oversized on a high school student with high-waisted jeans and cute boots. Like I just feel like this is a timeless sweater and I think it goes across generations. So I really loved it and it really reminded me of Christmas with the red and green and it was beautiful. I actually prefer the cotton ones to the wool because I feel like you just you're not dying in it. In the winter you do like to layer. So I feel like this is something that somebody could wear to a party and not be like sweating. And that sweater was just $7.99 so that was a really good price. Okay this was the sweater in question. The, the designer is Tanya Debilis and I just thought that this felt like such beautiful quality that I wanted to take it home and look into it because you know I like to bring you new brands. So Tanya Debilis, that's the tag. Um, that's the label and here is the tag. It wasn't a bad price. It had this nice cowl neck and this kind of Scandinavian pattern. I just thought this was gorgeous. And the sleeves are textured. It was, it was just a really unique piece. I thought it was beautiful. So let's look up some comps together because I did not look this up. So it looks like this is sold at Sierra. I'm seeing skirts for $40. But then Tanya Debilis Mina Tunic, which looks like this, $250 at Ski Country Sports. Well, on their website, I'm seeing a fair amount of items listed between $200 and $270. That doesn't mean it will resell for that, but I'm feeling pretty good. Like a ski skirt for $130, um, the Roxy jacket. All these jackets are this style lean and kind of long in length. Let me know if you're familiar with this brand and if you've ever sold it. I thought this was really cool. I'll have to look up like actual comps, but I thought this was beautiful quality 
and for under seven dollars I figured I would give it a try. These are the items I have that don't really coordinate with anything. This had a um, you know a tag on it, a dry cleaners tag. It's 95% wool, 5% cashmere. It was $11.99 and the brand is this was a quick decision on this one because this dry cleaning tag was over. It just, it looks like it's fresh from the cleaners and I didn't see any holes on it. Oh, it's Jack Spade. It says Bleecker Street, New York. I'm not sure how this will do, but I thought it was in, oops, that's the, <laughs> that's the dry cleaner tag. So this is $11.99. Let me know what you think of this. Have you had luck selling Jack Spade? It looks like I don't have to do any work to it. It's a nice wool sweater. I thought that would be appropriate for our theme today. So I went ahead and grabbed that and I was also trying to get stuff for men and for women. Okay, next up, we're gonna take care of mom. I thought that this combination was really cute. Now, I, I'm not a huge Eddie Bauer person myself for my own style. However, I really think there's something to be said for packable down jackets. I actually picked up one for Anthony that you'll see tomorrow. I just think they're so great and they're lightweight. And what I've learned about myself is I'm not a huge coat person. In theory, I love the look of a coat, but when I'm out and about, like you see me when I'm thrifting, I'm always in my black North Face. I don't even love North Face. That's just like my uniform. And I think that these packable down coats are fantastic. So this is Eddie Bauer. It is a woman's size large and it's $10. It was $10.99. So $9 for a down coat. You can squish it up. You can throw it in your tote bag. It's lightweight. If you get warm, you're not lugging around this huge coat. So I thought for that reason, this was a great pickup. I think this is a really versatile piece. I think a lot of people will like it. That's why it came home with me for today's challenge. But I also really loved this houndstooth scarf. This was one of the first things that I found. It's just acrylic, but I think it's giftable. It's one size fits most. It is a blanket scarf. Houndstooth is super classic. And again, I think it works for a lot of different age groups. This was $6.99, a little pricey, but in terms of giving it as a gift, I thought it was a great option. And it goes with um, a couple of the pieces that I got today. So I decided to grab this. This is the other coat that I got. And I just thought that this was a fun kind of more trendy piece that you could also wear with the blanket scarf. And this is more like a teddy bear style. I have that green teddy bear coat that you saw too, which happens to be my favorite piece. But this is Urban Heritage and it was $10.99. And I just think this is a great coat. I think this is an easy one to throw on. It's not like super, super insulated. It actually is lined, um, but I just thought this was like a basic that was very casual and very versatile. So I grabbed that. Now you saw that I grabbed a pair of jeans. I grabbed one pair of jeans for guys and one pair of jeans for girls. I was surprised by the comps on these. I've never picked up the rib cage bootcut jeans by Levi's and I love the rib cage and these come up super high, but I wasn't sure about bootcut. I mean, I know that skinny jeans are on their way out or they're out and I know wide legs are in, but I was like, are, are bootcut in? And yeah, the comps on these were really good. I mean, people have these listed 75, 85, $90. So I don't know if this is something that's at like Urban Outfitters or Free People, but I was pretty impressed. And in the, in the sold comps were like in that 40 to 50, $60 range. So I was pretty psyched. And they were a size 29 and they were priced at $8.99. So I thought that these cute jeans could go with all of my warm jackets and sweaters. Um, so a couple accessories that don't really go with anything. I was not on my A-game today, guys. But I bought things that I thought I would be excited to list. I could have found items that matched and that made a look, but when it came to reselling, I don't think that they would have done as well. So this, for example, this scarf doesn't really go with anything. It goes well with the jeans that I got, but it doesn't really go with any of the jackets. Or, But I love it, and it is a Madewell scarf, and it was just $3.99. And I do pretty well with Madewell scarves and Madewell accessories in general. It is so cozy 
and it is definitely like a blanket scarf it's big in size and I love all the colors I love that on one side it looks like stripes that's the back side and then on this side it's this little boho little fringy pattern I think it's absolutely adorable and for this price I wasn't gonna leave it behind another thing that has nothing to do with winter but I showed this to you I mean you know I never pass up on the mountain the mountain t-shirt with golden retrievers i mean this will probably be gone by the end of the night i've never seen one with dogs like this if you've been following me for a while you know i always pick up this brand here it is the mountain uh and i think this is out of new hampshire it was only 3.99 i'm like this is gonna go i mean this would go with the scarf the colors look really great with this scarf I think this works together quite nicely. I also picked up this blanket that I talked a little bit about in the store. I wanted to find like a blanket when I was envisioning, you know, like a horse drawn buggy and you just need like a little blanket over your legs or just sitting outside with hot cocoa. I couldn't find any thermos mugs. Um, I was looking for like a commuter mug, like a Starbucks, anything with a lid. It was so picked over, but I was also there at 3.30 on a Friday. So it was not like the best time to go shopping, but I still made the best of it. This was only $3.99. It's a smaller handmade blanket. This is perfect to just throw in your bag and go. If I was buying a blanket for indoors, I would want it bigger, you know, something that I can sprawl all over the couch. But I thought this is like good for stadium games if you're at a football game or you just want to keep something in the car. And it was handmade, so I had to get that. I mean, look at this little handmade tag. That was so special to me. Is it Janet or Jeanette? It's J-A-N-E-T-T-E. -E. I thought it was so sweet. It's in really beautiful condition. So I grabbed that. And then one last scarf that I grabbed. I picked this up because it was a wool blend and it was made in Italy and it was an in infinity scarf. And I know infinity scarves like aren't the thing anymore, but for me, I think they're just so easy. Maybe that just means I'm getting old. But when I go places, I'm always fiddling around with a traditional scarf. If it's one of these, I just, you know, wrap it a couple times and I'm on my way. So I thought this was really nice. It's also kind of lightweight. I try to make it a habit to not pick up untagged scarves unless I'm sure of a brand or something like that. So it's 50% acrylic, 25% polyamide, and 25% wool, and it's made in Italy. And the brand I'm unfamiliar with, Folia, P-H-O-L-Y-A. Never heard of it. I've never heard of this brand, but maybe you have. I love this color. I loved the fabric. So yeah, and this was $4.99, so I decided to grab this as well. All right, as far as guys go, this doesn't this doesn't really go with my theme because these are not like what I picture on an L.L. Bean guy, like true religion jeans. I don't picture that at all together. But these Ricky jeans by True Religion, this is totally off topic, these jeans and the mountain shirt, but you gotta give me a pass for a couple things. These were $7.49, and I had a pair of Ricky True Religion jeans for guys, and I wanna say they sold full price for like $45 or $50. I don't love to pick up True Religion for women unless they're super unique, but these jeans, the Ricky specifically, I know I've sold these one or two times, and I got good money for them. So since I needed a pair of jeans for guys, you know, the more natural choice would have been like Levi's or, you know, something a little more earthy and outdoorsy or maybe some L.L. Bean jeans with a little fleece plaid liner, but they were not around. So I went with True Religion. This I grabbed because I have sold something very similar to this before in a different color. The brand is Woolrich and it was new with tags. So it was $9.99 um, and it had a tag for $60. Um, I paid eight and I, I got this because I thought this would fit anybody. So if I have any plus size friends or just people who like a blanket shawl type of um, sweater, it does have the little fringy bottom. And again, it is new with tag. Do you like to have new with tag items in your closet during the holidays? I actually think it's very appealing. I probably would not have grabbed this if it wasn't new with tag or if I hadn't sold it before for $8, um, but I thought it was really pretty and it checked another box in trying to, you know, touch on something for everybody. I didn't get anything for girls because I didn't see anything, but this was kind of like a junior pickup. 
Like this is for like the high school student, in my opinion. I grabbed this turtleneck to go with it. I kept trying to find something that matched. Hold on, Jay just texted me. Airport customs went cook quick in an Uber now, and it says I will arrive at 7.15. Oh my gosh, he's gonna be early. Thank God I'm almost done filming. Okay, so this is the green jacket in question. This was one of the first things I saw, and I wish you could touch it through the screen. I'm gonna come in close just so you can see it. It's like a teddy bear material, but this is like chenille, you know? This is so soft and silky, as opposed to the teddy bear fabric of the um, the black one. That was more like nubby, not as silky soft. This is also Urban Outfitters, and it is also new with tag. So I thought this was a great pickup. They had just put this out. Any of the blue tags were new. It was just $12.99. It's lined in this gray color and it's hooded. It is so soft and snuggly and I think somebody will love this. This was the only thing I tried to coordinate because the color was so unique. I ended up getting this vintage Gap ribbed turtleneck, which I also think is trendy right now. Turtlenecks are having a moment and I loved the rib look and it's like an old school Gap tag on here. This was $6.99 though. I don't know if I would have picked this up if it weren't for the challenge, but I think because these are trendy, this might be a this whole ensemble might be really good on Depop. So $6.99, it is Gap, and it is a size medium, 100% cotton, made in Hong Kong. This is an old Gap turtleneck, and I thought it was so cute. And then to go with, I got this cute little hat, which also looks handmade. I'm not a big green person. I don't buy a lot of green, so it was fun to branch out a little bit. And I just thought that these colors worked really well together. The cream, because this was kind of a statement piece, I didn't want like a pattern top underneath. At least this is vintage and cotton and gap. But this I think is fantastic. And this hat I think is so cute. So let's try it on because I do like this hat. It's like a beanie. Oh my gosh, look at how adorable this is. I don't know if this is gonna fit me, but let's try it on. Maybe I can get a good thumbnail out of this. I don't know what size this is. Oh, it's an extra small. Oh, I'm screwed. Hold on. We're gonna have to improvise here because I am not extra small by any stretch. But here we are. This is, <laughs> this is the look I got for a teenager. I love this hat. It's so cute. It's so cute. All right, that is all for today's video. These were my selections for Baby It's Cold Outside. It really pushed me out of my comfort zone to spend more time in outerwear. Struck out with the boots and socks and gloves and stuff like that. But hopefully I did okay for the time crunch. I am going to hop off right now and start editing. I hope you guys are having fun with this series. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I'll be back tomorrow with my final installment of Happy Holidays 2022. Love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.